in this video demonstration, I'm going to show you how to make together or put together the new Michaelmas Daisy die from John Next Door collection. It gives you a beautiful sort of, um, it, it is like a Michaelmas Daisy, but you can use it to make little tiny daisies. It gives you such beautiful different flowers. You can make water lilies and all sorts with it. But if you can see here, Justin in white with green and a yellow center, it looks different all the way through. So very simple to do. This is the die as you will receive it. So you will get the plate with all of the flowers on. This will actually give you 14 daisies. I think this is the most I've ever done in a flower plate. So two of each size of four larger sizes. And then you get one, two, three, four, five, six of the smaller sizes. But you also get the die here, which gives you the center for the stamens. So really simple to do. You just need a piece of A6 card. Here I've got it cut in clotted cream. Actually, I've got it in clotted cream, white and in spring yellow. So we'll go for the clotted cream. So you simply put it down onto an A6 piece of card. And that's a piece of A4 card that's been cut in half at five and three quarter inches. It's then been cut again, rotated and cut again at four and a quarter inches. So it's five and three quarters by four and an eighth inch. So we simply run that through and cut it. And with one pass of your normal A5 die cutting machines, you will get all 14 pieces. And I think it's always important to see how they cut. So you can check on the back, everything's cut. We peel off our spare card and keep this as it makes a beautiful background because they've all been sort of sized right. So it can make a really nice background for your card. We just need to take our flowers out. So I just pop them out, pop in the middle. There's a release hole. You see there's lots of release holes. Some of them may need easing out slightly, but really simple to do. Obviously when I do this, and I'm not doing it on video, they all just drop out, but of course they never do when I'm doing it on a video. So we'll take all of the pieces out really simple to do and these will cut you know from your sort of 120 all the way up to 300 gsm card and the difference with this die from the other flower dies that i've done and i can show you here is these have got a cut line in the center which gives a definitive line that you'd have in a daisy so you can sort of pinch each petal over but you can also pop your poker tool in and open that out. So by doing that, you get a sort of, almost like a water lily, and you get a completely different flower. So I'm just popping it in and moving my pokey tool around, just like that. There we go. And it opens up each petal without you having to cut it. So you get a very different look by doing that. So we get all of those pieces out. And I've actually already got those here. And with the center, you can alternate into a different color. So I've gone white here. And again, I'm using a piece of A6 card because this makes the perfect background. So you can cut this in strips down. You'll make a beautiful background for a card. And again, I'm going to run that through just so that you can see that. Again, we'll just peel away the card. You've got that beautiful, almost like a splat pattern. But again, works really nicely to make you a different background. And again, we just literally pop each of these out. And once again, when I'm doing it and it's not on the video, they all just pop out. But it's going to be a struggle because I'm doing it on the video. So we'll just take these. There we go. If you do struggle getting die cuts out of a die, you can always use a little bit of wax paper in between, which will make them easily fall out and transfers wax onto the die. So we'll pop those back. But you see from this, you get one, two, three, four, five, six centers. Now, for a set of flowers, I actually only use four, but it's really simple to do. So if I want to shape them, I'm using a ball tool and I'm just literally going around the outside of the center circle. So just press 
around the outside of that center circle and it just domes the flower and makes the petals pop up because you've got the cut lines in it they automatically want to curl so it's very easy to do and then for the centers I'm just going to scribble in the middle and press so I'm pressing quite hard on the foam and scribbling in the middle which just domes those and to put them together I'm going to use the craft artist glue glaze I find that very very easy a little bit on the bottom rotate the flower round and press in the center a little bit more glue glaze and we just pop one of the centers in and you get that real Michaelmas daisy look so I do that for the four largest sizes and each plate will give you two each of your four largest and we just so rotate round stick it down and don't try and get it offset perfectly it's been hand drawn so it's not all in exactly the right place there to look like realistic flowers rather than just be computer generated so don't worry if you know it, they don't offset perfectly they aren't designed to do that spot on they're designed to look and be random as flowers are so we just put a little bit more glue glaze in the center and we'll pop our final center on. So there we've got our four bigger flowers. For our smaller ones, I'm just going to put two of these together the same. I tend to turn them upside down just so I can glue them all quickly and easily. Just like that. And then we turn those over and again, if you squash that flower a little bit and rotate, There we go. You get the beautiful little daisy. So I'm just squashing that flower down a little bit just to make it easier to see where to pop it in. Two, and squash that down a little bit. Take our third one. And for the centers of these, you can use whatever you'd like. Um, you can use pearls, you could use gems, you can use crystals, you can use the craft artist pollen. Well, the craft artist pollen in yellow would look lovely. What I'm going to do is just use some of the dew drops because I think they really work those glass centers because they reflect back. So again, a little dab of glue glaze into the centers. This is strong enough to hold the glass. And it's so much easier to apply. I don't end up with messy fingers or anything. There we go. And you'll find the dew drops are actually flat backed slightly so one side on a lot of them is slightly flat and they'll fall that way but you just pop them into the center of your flowers and there we have a beautiful set of seven Michaelmas daisies or they always the smaller ones to me just look like little miniature daisies so here we go, one, two, three, four, five, six, and seven. And here I've got the same done in a spring yellow. Just so you can see how you get a little color difference, little center in that one. But really simple and easy to achieve and put together, make the most beautiful cards. So if you see here, where we've got just a little few around an aperture with happy birthday, or just the miniature ones used to look like little miniature daisies, or when we change up colors with the green in the center, we've got a far more exotic flower, but simple to do and easy and effective. Mm -hmm.